क्वेश्चन नंबर 106 अ न्यूक्लियोसोम इज कंपोज्ड ऑफ अ न्यूक्लियोसोम इट्स अ यूनिट ऑफ क्रोमैटिन एंड इट इज कंपोज्ड ऑफ द नेगेटिवली चार्ज्ड डीएनए एंड द पॉजिटिवली चार्ज्ड हिस्टोन प्रोटीन्स द डीएनए इज नेगेटिवली चार्ज्ड ड्यू टू फॉस्फेट ग्रुप एंड द स्टोन्स आर पॉजिटिवली चार्ज्ड ड्यू टू पॉजिटिव और द बेसिक अमाइनो एसिड्स सो पॉजिटिवली चार्ज्ड डीएनए दिस ऑप्शन इज रूल्ड आउट एज डीएनए इज नेगेटिवली चार्ज्ड positively charged dna no dna is negatively charged negatively charged dna and positively charged stone proteins yes this is correct negatively charged lysine and positively charged arginine arginine and lysine both are positively charged none of them is negatively charged so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 107 In the experiment conducted by Griffith, when a mixture of heat killed S strain and live R strain of Pneumococcus bacteria was injected into a healthy mice, it developed pneumonia. This was due to. So this is the experiment called transformation experiment of Griffith, and when Griffith injected the S strain bacteria, which are heat killed. along with the r strain bacteria which are alive into a mice then mice died due to pneumonia why what happened when he mixed r strain bacteria with the s strain bacteria you may be knowing about the s strain bacteria that these are smooth due to present of a capsule over it and this capsule makes them virulent so these are virulent bacteria they cause pneumonia and r strain are the rough because they lack capsule and they are a virulent they cannot cause any disease then how are did bacteria which is virulent which can cause disease when mixed with the r strain alive bacteria which are a virulent which cannot cause any disease injected into mice and the mice died because there is a transformation of dna the dna is transferred from s strain bacteria to the r strain and made it virulent and then this caused the disease in the mice and hence mice died so this is called the transformed r strain bacteria so it was due to reactivation of s strain bacteria no transformation of s strain no r strain was transformed synthesis of polysaccharide coat around the s strain no s strain was dead transformed r strain bacteria of course the r strain got transformed and hence caused the disease and the mice died so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question Question number one hundred and eight. When a single gene product produces more than one effect, this phenomenon is called. This is very easy question. This is called pleiotropy. When a single gene can produce more than one effect, for example, the gene which controls the seed shape in pea plant also determines the starch size in the pea plant. So this is called the pleiotropy. multiple allelism no multiple allelism when a gene has more than two alleles in a diploid organism it is called multiple allelism polyploidy means when the ploidy is increased from the 2n it is called the polyploidy apistasis is a phenomenon when a gene mask the effect of the another gene so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question question number 109 Out of nine genotypes obtained in F2 generation in Mendel's dihybrid cross, the number of genotypes that are true breeding line for the both the characters. So you should understand what is the meaning of the true breeding line for both the characters. It means they should not be heterozygous at all. In Mendel's dihybrid cross, you must remember that one of the genotypes all capital r capital r capital y capital y and both are homozygous so both are pure for the both the characters now capital r capital r small y small y of course it is also pure small r small r capital y capital y small r small r small y small y so these are the four genotypes which are homozygous or pure for both the characters so the correct option for the given question is option number 
let's move to the next question question number 110 says that a radioactive sulfur containing bacteriophage is allowed to attach to e coli that contains radioactive phosphorus the viruses produced in this bacteria by this infection will have see this is very interesting question it says that a bacteriophage means the virus which can kill the bacteria it has capsule which contained radioactive sulfur because sulfur is present in the and amino acids form the protein so this protein capsule or the protein coat it has radioactive sulfur okay so this infect to the e coli this infect to the e coli and this was the radioactive as phosphorus was radioactive and phosphorus is present in the DNA. So this was the radioactive. When this bacteriophage infects the E. coli, new bacteriophages were produced. Now what will be the result? The radioactive protein capsule and known radioactive genetic material, the new bacteriophages have radioactive protein coat, but the known radioactive genetic material, no. Why? Because you must have studied that the genetic material is transferred from this bacteria. You must have studied that when there is infection, the genetic material is transferred from this virus to the bacteria and the radioactive coat remains outside. So no radioactivity will be seen in the protein coat. But yes, the DNA of viruses which will be synthesized with the help of E. coli's DNA will be radioactive. So the genetic material of viruses will be radioactive, not the protein coat so the non radioactive protein coat and the non radioactive genetic material no because genetic material will be radioactive radioactive protein capsule no non radioactive protein capsule and radioactive genetic material yes because this fudge will use the machinery and the nucleotides from the e coli which are radioactive so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question mm -hmm.